We're at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where tonight the Red Wings host Green Bay Preble. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin, thanks for watching. Uh, Chris, Preble comes in tonight, uh, not a very good record there, 1-6, 0-4 in conference. South on the flip side is not much better at 1-3 uh, in conference and 2-7 and overall, and I'll tell you that really surprises me, the South uh, record. Yeah, there's no question I think this year in the uh, conference you got the basically the top four teams. You got Pulaski, De Pere, uh, Bayport, and North. And then you got some really bad basketball teams on the bottom, which I think you put Preble and West and East and uh, maybe Southwest. South is probably one of those teams that's supposed to be maybe in the middle somewhere to the upper part. And uh, right right now they're not playing very well. You're right. They're just 1-3 and three in the league. Preble's 0-4. But they did come off a victory against Appleton Xavier the other day by two. And the teams that uh, Preble have played also are pretty tough. They, their winning percentage is 43 and 20. They've played three ranked teams already. So they've played some good basketball teams, Preble that is. Uh, so and I'm not so sure. I don't think they're a good basketball team, but they have played good competition. Well, apparently they try to slow it down because they're only averaging a little over uh, 40 points a game. And their leading scorer, uh, Merrick Griffin, is only averaging 9.1 points a game. We're on uh, South squad they have Taylor Ditter averaging uh, just a touch under 15 and uh, Michael Schrader just a touch under 10 points per game along with Thomas Murray who's averaging 9-7 so they have fairly good balance but uh, it seems like uh, Preble is really scoring challenged. Yeah they are they, like you said they're just averaging about 47 points a game. Sheboygan South went down and played Milwaukee Hamilton a, about two weeks ago and played them really really well and so is that the team that Coach Schultz thought he was going to have this year? Or the team that's uh, lost some games this year and uh, team games that they've been blown out by? Uh, they went and lost to West Dallas Central in their last game, but we did see the North-South game, and you know, they were down by 20, and there was no question that North was be way better that night. Yeah, uh, talking about Preble some more, uh, it seems like they've been down a little bit over the last couple of years, and uh, their coach, Robert Damro is uh, had a hard time trying to get the program uh, going at a consistent basis anyway. Yeah, they. you're, you're talking about the biggest school in the, in the whole uh, conference. conference, and, you know, they got 2,100 so kids to choose from, I believe, something like that. And, you know, they, they just won two games a year ago. They are uh, JV struggled a year ago, but their JVs beat the South guys tonight, so maybe they're, they're on the upswing. But uh, this is a very... Uh, Typical varsity team. This is basically seniors and juniors, but uh, just not very uh, talented group. And uh, hopefully, this is one that South can uh, pick up a win and maybe start the new year off and get on a roll. Yeah, they need to get on a roll to, to uh, get a little bit of semblance of uh, respectable respectableness because they certainly haven't garnered that uh, so far this year. One of the things talking about establishing programs and that. I thought Tim Schultz really had uh, the team going over the last couple of seasons, and I know we've commented about the number of players he uses, and, and you know, and he runs in a lot of guys, which I think is a good thing. But uh, like you mentioned, they've just had a tough start so far this yeah, year. Yeah, and I, I think you mentioned, <laughs> going back to what you said too, I, I think we're a little surprised at what their record is. And you know, one thing about playing a lot of kids, you would think that a lot of guys. You know, would want to play basketball because you know you're going to get opportunity. I know I went down to watch Lutheran play a week ago against uh, Cuba City, and I watched the game before that. Mantuak, Roncalli, and Racine St. Kate's. Racine St. Kate's played six kids, <laughs> and they had like 15 on their team. So, yeah. you know, Coach Schultz plays a lot of kids, so if you want to play basketball, he does give you the opportunity. You know, he tries to, you know, figure out if, who's hot during the game, and then hopefully at the end of the game he gets the best five out there. Well, some other guys that uh, score points for uh, Preble are Austin Claremont. He averages seven points a game. Dan Vandenberg is the second leading scorer, only at seven. Uh, pardon me, he's the third scorer, 7.3. Second on the team is in scoring is junior Cade Berceau at uh, 9.0 points per game. And uh, we had mentioned only 43 points a game. they got to pick it up a little bit. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We're suspecting that they're a slowdown team, and, uh, you know, that's going to be part of the reason. But uh, even given that, you're going to have to score a little more than that to win basketball games. We're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and a tip-off for tonight's game. Hi, I'm 
major Samantha Week. I get to live my dream every day of being an Air Force fighter pilot and flying the most advanced aircraft in the world. Before I could ever climb into the Thunderbird F-16, I had to prove my flying skills through intense training, hard work, and determination. The road to my goal was long and challenging, but the reward is out of sight. You too can live your dream and accomplish anything when you set your mind to it. I thought indoor tanning was safe. They said their tanning rays were less likely to cause a sunburn. What you need to know is UV light from indoor tanning can cause premature aging. And even worse, UV light can increase your risk of skin cancer, including melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. In fact, current estimates are that one in five Americans develop skin cancer. And one person dies from melanoma about every hour. I don't want to be one of them. This message brought to you by the American Academy of Dermatology. We're back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. We're going to step out for a minute These and listen rules to provide Sid Saffer. Fair competition among players. Spectators can help promote good sportsmanship also by observing the rules of fair play. Each one is requested to take personal responsibility for keeping this game at a high level of good sportsmanship. And now, let's meet the starting lineups. First, for the Green Bay Preble Hornets. Senior, number 11, Austin Claremont. Junior, number 25, Cade Berceau. Senior, number 31, Michael Kraft. Senior, number 33, Merrick Griffin. And senior, number 55, Dan Vandenberg. Preble Hornets head coach, Rob Darrow. And now for your starting lineups for your Sheboygan South High Red Wings. 6-1, junior number three, Matt Schrader. 5-11, senior number 15, downtown Taylor Dinner. 6'3", senior number 31, Thomas Murray. 6'1", freshman, number 41, Connor Harrison. And 6'4", senior number 51, Michael Schrader. Head coach for the Red Wings, Tim Schultz. Assistant, Andrew Dam. Manager for the Red Wings, Derek Wagner. Officials for the game as assigned by the FRCC, Brian Ulnis and Chad DuPont. Our trainer this evening from Prevea Health Medicine, Maggie Bauer, Bauer, Bauer with a B. Our game supervisor, Todd Tudis. What's this, Chris? We didn't even get announced. I mean, announced everybody in the whole gym except us. Hey. He said hi to me this when I walked in, though. He did the same thing to me. <laughs> he didn't mean it. <laughs> I he always him. entertaining Sim Safford. You don't see him in a lounge at lunchtime. <laughs> <laughs> I look at Green Bay Preble. I mean, they are not very strong. They look very weak, like they uh, haven't been in the weight room very much. Well, left the layup short was uh, Thomas Murray. South in a man-to-man -man defense. I mean, Green Bay Preble just looks very small compared to the big teams in our league. Nice pass by Austin Claremont. And Vandenberg with an easy two. Ball tip. No, it goes off of a south player out of bounds. Not able to handle it was uh, Thomas Murray. Huh. Preble with a... Good start. Claremont doing most of the ball handling. Had that nice assist. Takes a 15-footer, can't get it to go. Connor Harrison, the freshman with the rebound. Michael Schrader's shot is no good. And then going over the back for the rebound was Murray. He's going to pick up his first foul. Six fifty-eight remaining in the first quarter. Two to nothing, Preble. Well, you're right, Chris. Arms look a little uh, thin. Well, and they're just not very tall, or they don't look extremely athletic. 
One of the key, I didn't mention this in the opening, but one of the keys I had for a salt success was put a lot of pressure oh on the guards. Shot is no good. And then I think they're going to get uh, Vandenberg over the back for a fall. That wasn't a, uh, the most prettiest three-point shot I've ever seen. No, that's, uh, it if it would have went in, it would have looked pretty good. <laughs> Well, the form was a little awkward for a var var varsity uh, competition. Yeah. Murray has it inside looking. And he, oh, I thought he dragged the foot, but maybe he was pushed. They're going to call a foul on Merrick Griffin. Now, obviously, Preble was very successful in football. They're probably going to be pretty good in baseball, and they're always good in track. Wasn't, oh, nice little feed inside and missing the bunny shot was Connor Harrison. They're not going to get much easier than that. Oh, long, not a long three pointer, but a good three pointer by uh, Gabe Berceau. You wanted to save Berceau all day. Yeah. That's going to be a tongue twister for you, Marty. I like his number, though, 25. Ditter taking it to the hole, lays it up and in. No stopping him there. Ditter, nice drive. Very athletic, three sport athlete. Nice spin move, shot is blocked out of bounds. Michael Kraft. Mitchell Fox coming in for South. Mitchell averaging three points a game. Senior. Perso. Well, I thought we heard a whistle, Chris, didn't you? I think it was the feet shuffling, but you're 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 right with what you thought you heard. A three point attempt is no good, and then we get another whistle underneath the basket. And that's gonna go on south. Connor Harrison picking up the foul. 4 fouls in the first 3 minutes 519 of the first. Yeah, that's not good. Perso. Oh three point attempt was no good. But Preble comes away with the rebound. Merrick Griffin had it for a second. Tell you, Berso looks like he can uh, go pretty good, Chris. He's not afraid to shoot, that's for sure. Ball goes on uh, number 31, Thomas Murray. That's his second. And he's going to come out, Jake Knuthin. So we mentioned Preble's just 1-6, and 0-4 in the league. They beat Appleton Xavier. Appleton Xavier's kind of in the middle of their league. Little shoots a good team in that league, but uh, even they, uh, they're 11-0, and 0, but that's not a very good great conference or anything. Well, they like to dribble a lot though, I'll say that. Lean in shot is no good by Griffin. Ditter has it on top for South. Fox. Can't get it to go, and crashing into the crowd was uh, Michael Schrader. It's like the uh, third foul on a rebound. Yeah. I, was say, uh, I was just going to mention, like, uh, the conference that uh, Appleton Xavier's in, Little shoots 11-0. They beat East by two, and Oops. East is uh, <laughs> Not struggling, very good. Yeah. struggling this year. Of course, they lost their best one of their best players. That doesn't help at all, no. Mike Fisher. Preble up here, 5-2, to two, rolling down to the four-minute mark. Good ball movement by the Hornets, but uh, having trouble making shots. Seems like the uh, action's all been on this end of the floor, Marty. Yes, you're right. Oh, boy. Oh, a reach-in fall is going to be called on... Jake Knuth, and that's going to be the fifth team foul on South. 
23 is Brad Bookmeyer. Some of you may know that name from the football season. He could run with the ball. Yeah, he was a blood for sure. Hustling up to the table to check in is uh, Connor Gint. He's a little stronger player as Bookmeyer is, but uh, as opposed to those starters. Kraft had it in the corner. South uh, in a man-to-man -man yet. They're not good ball handlers. No, Merrick Griffin for the leading score doesn't look like a good ball handler at all, but uh, Claremont with a high arching shot got it in. Seven to two South. Ditter penetrated and pitched it right out of bounds. Tried to get it to his teammate, uh, Jake Knuth, but uh, Knuth was going to the hoop. Sean Anderson in the ball game. South starting off just one of six. Three minutes in the first quarter, they're down seven to two. Claremont penetrate and drills it short jump shot. He's got four straight points. You're not gonna stop him. That was a great shot. Good pass, Robbie Schrader with the hoop and he got fouled. Good inside position there by Robbie. Went to the basket, used his body. Shielded defender, and the defender reached in there, got the foul, got a chance for three point play the old fashioned way. Can't get it to go, it's nine to four. Just under three minutes left in the first quarter. Shuffling the feet before the shot was uh, Connor Kraft. Well, you get in the ball game, you got a chance to throw up a shot and then you shuffle the feet first. He is the lone sophomore on the squad. I don't care. But uh, <laughs> I missed that when I was looking through the roster, Chris. I thought they only had juniors and seniors. Yeah, so did I. I have it. I in the book or on the website. He was down as a junior. Now he changed it to a sophomore because of the paper. Oh, a nice drive to the basket and a good shot put up by Tristan Schmidt. Nine to six. I think South's played ten players already here again. They get a lot of guys in there. Sean Anderson on the block knocked it out of bounds. Rebels four of 11 shooting, leading nine to six. Yeah, it looks oh. like uh, Ditter's got a little blood on the jersey. Ay, ay, ay. Trainer will squirt a little blood off. <laughs> it's like pretty, very little. Bacchus coming in. Now looking at his last name, Chris, I'd pronounce that Backhaus. We'll go with Sims pronunciation. Good defense played there. Well, I think that's what you gotta do here, Salt, just turn up the wick a little bit. These guys are gonna struggle taking care of the basketball as you saw mm -hmm. there. Good help defense by uh, Schrader. And a little fancy Dan pass made there by Schmidt right to a Preble player. A little under, a little out of, out of control that time. Oh boy. Another player out of control that time it was Preble's Brookmeyer. Schrader uh, had a wide open layup and couldn't make it. And there's two missed layups by the Southsiders. Connor Kraft fall on a drive to the basket. Six team fall on uh, South. Long first quarter, Marty. Yep, it's gonna be a longer second quarter too when they start hitting the bonus.
Eric Wiesman running camera being assisted by uh, Richard Bartson tonight. We're on a one camera operation again. Cables didn't get the town. Hey, hopefully they'll be here uh, tomorrow. Ditter. Another rebound foul. And it's going to go against South. And that's bonus time. Yeah. Sean Anderson is going to pick that foul up. It's like the fourth or fifth one of those parties. Yeah, you're right, and I think yeah. three of them have gone at South. <laughs> I remember Schrader got one of those, Harrison got one, and now uh, Anderson has one, so I believe that's three for them. Vandenberg, I think, got a rebound fall for uh, Preble. Tell you, Marty, Preble was once a power. Remember Coach Wall? Oh, yeah, Keith Wall. Yep, he and his teams were machines. Preble, a very proud, tough place to play up there at that time, too. Him and Coach Desatel went at it. Of course, there's not too many coaches that Coach Desatel hasn't gone up against. right to the hoop and again south with a layup that they can't put in the basket that time it was Look at Tristan this and nobody Schmidt. stops the D oh a pretty good defense south comes away with the ball Anderson uh, got a nice pass from uh, back house back us but uh, again south missing a layup they all start to fall Marty Anderson with a nice steal. And we're going to get a charge. No basket. Picking up the foul is going to be Matt Schrader. Mm, eight fouls on South. Mitchell Fox back in. Schrader has two fouls. Murray has two fouls. We're not going to allow any contact today. <laughs> under a minute left <laughs> and we don't like it that way <laughs> Preble on top 11 to 5 I went like I said saw Lutheran and uh, Ooh. making that layup Lutheran and Cuba City just Cuba City just pound Sam Decker down there and then I watched this and every bump's a foul One. Oh, bad clock management. You got to let them know how much time is left and get a shot off, but they didn't. We're at the end of one quarter of play, and there you see it. Preble on top, 13 to 6. Local government, local educational institutions, and local community members all use cable access TV to communicate their message. They depend upon it as an affordable means of outreach. Public, educational, and government access television empowers local government agencies, individuals, and groups to use the media to speak directly to their constituents in a more direct and cost-effective way. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse getting ready to start second quarter action. Not much flow to the to the game so far, Chris. No, there's eight turnovers and uh, 11 fouls. Uh, kind of something interesting. South is three for 11, but nine different South players have attempted shots. Well, I'll tell you what they aren't. is very good on their layups. I think they're about one for four. Yeah, they'll, if they finish those, they're, they're just fine. I know, remember when we did that East game over at North and uh, East was just on fire, you know, throughout the entire first half, basically, and uh, you were never concerned. I'm not concerned about the tonight outcome. either. <laughs> I was just going to ask you that. Nice pass inside, and putting it up and in was Vandenberg with an easy two. Another nice pass from his teammate, Claremont. Yeah, there's 6 of 14 shooting, Marty. South working the ball around. Preble playing pretty good defense so far this possession. Yeah, they've kind of picked it up. You know, when, you know, making some baskets, you want to play D, you feel a little confident. Shot on the inside is no good by Schrader. Another shot by Murray is no good. 
Schrader comes away with another rebound. Lean in her, can't get that one in. And South gets another offensive board. Loading it up from three-point land and nailing it is Connor Harrison. That was huge. Slice that lead to 15 to nine with seven minutes in the first half. There's a walk. Got a little too deep and wasn't able to uh, control his feet was uh, Austin Claremont. And that's a senior. That was a flurry of action down there that last trip, Chris. Well, South wanted it, and they, you know they worked to get it, and I'm glad they got rewarded with a bucket because they, you know, Thomas Murray kept banging, banging, banging. Robbie Schrader banging in there. Finally, Harrison got an offensive rebound and got it to go. Did her nice drive to the uh, baseline and then jumped the uh, jump shot. Did that uh, possession for two points. He doesn't want the ball. Well, Ditter crowding him a little bit, making it uncomfortable, and then South with a steal. Ditter got away with a carry. Shot is blocked, and coming away with it for the Hornets was Devontae Pickney. Aye. A pretty good strength by Claremont to get the shot off after it was blocked while it was in his hands, but uh, South playing the good D again. Murray leans in, can't get it in. Travel not called. Schrader's shot is no good, or pardon me, Harrison's shot is no good, and then ball is thrown away by Preble, and South is going to get it right back. 15 to 11, South down four. South just using their strength now, getting deeper and deeper into that red paint. Hitting the boards. Preble not doing a great job boxing out. Preble ended the first quarter, Chris, on a 6 nothing run. Shot is up and in by uh, Harrison. And, uh, he's starting to apply himself out there. Yeah, he's two for four on the night. Five points. Oh, hack on the arm, not called. And then we're going to get a foul on Claremont. No, they're going to get a turnover. They called double dribble on that. Really? I miss that. I did too, because I thought that uh, Preble either knocked it out of his hands or knocked it on his arm. And they never stopped. He never picked the ball up. Okay. To, uh, you know, if he picks it up, isn't that then a double dribble? I thought he just kept dribbling. Yeah, so did I. But, oh well. Claremont, good pass inside, and uh, missed layup by Griffin, but then he gets it right back and uh, does put it up and in. And that breaks a run by South. What do we got here? Timeout by Preble. They didn't have the ball. Timeout. Well, they called it right after the basket. 17 to 13, broke a six point, seven point run by South. You're right. South is starting to get their sea legs, starting to make a couple shots. Well, they just turn up the wick on D a little bit. Preble doesn't want, struggles to take care of the basketball, and then assert yourself down in that paint there. Use those, you guys are big and strong. Use that body, and we saw, like I said before, Thomas Murray banging in there, and Harrison getting extra well, opportunities. I was just going to say Wally and Grace Recolitis are here tonight. They're sitting almost straight across from us. Wally in the white sweater and probably wearing that stupid old Yankee hat again. <laughs> <laughs> Wally could play. He was a leaper too. One of the better athletes ever to be in Sheboygan. South comes away with it. Another layup attempt is no good. I'll tell you, South cannot buy a basket. Jake Knuth just missed two on that last possession, and then we get a South foul. <clears throat> and 
You miss a couple layups, what do you do next, Chris? Hack somebody. <laughs> Griffin will be shooting a one and one. Puts in a pair. It's 19 to 13. Prebles lead back up to six. The biggest lead was six. Salt looking for cutters, trying to get uh, Murray inside, but uh, pretty good defense played underneath by Griffin. Ditter's rainbow shot is no good, and then Vandenberg with the strong rebound. Loading it up from three-point land. Wow, not a good-looking shot there by uh, Michael Kraft. Ditter. Preble. Kick out to Claremont. Lays it up and in. For Claremont, he has six points, Chris. <clears throat> and he hasn't looked that great out there. Ah, uh, no. Good help defense by Preble on the missed steal attempt. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Another shot is no good by uh, Michael Schrader. He missed a pair on that sequence. This is unbelievable. Oh, nice driving shot that time by uh, Cade Berceau. 23 to 13. 10 point lead, largest of the game by either squad. Berceau has uh, seven points, Chris. <laughs> All's gonna go on Kraft. It's only the fourth foul on Preble. South is uh, sitting with nine. South three of 16 in the quarter, Marty. Six of 27 in the game. Wow. Thus the 10 point deficit. Kind of reminds you of the Badgers. Under a minute, they're down by one. <laughs> Not this game. <laughs> 218 remaining until halftime. South with the ball, they're down 10. 23 to 13. Oop. Well, almost looked like a f shuffle of the feet, but no call. There have been several times, Chris, I thought in the half where uh, one or the other team had shuffled the feet and there was no call. Shot by Schrader is no good, but coming away with the rebound and putting it up and in was Mitchell Fox. That was a big basket, Chris, because it breaks in an uh, eight-point run by the Hornets. Drive down the lane, the shot attempt is no good by Berceau and South comes away with it. Ditter got away with a, got away with a carry about 15 feet out and then he dribbled it on the line. That one he didn't get away with. Hey, they never call it on Ivan either. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you, people would have to play Friday basketball and know what we're talking about. Oh, yeah. And the shot is up and in by Connor Gint, and he's fouled. Schrader picks up uh, his first foul, Robbie Schrader. We were calling by their first and last name, huh, Chris? Well, with three Schraders out there, I guess you're going to have to. 25-15, Ditter from way outside, rainbows it in. That's the Taylor Ditter we know. And love.
Hook shot is no good by uh, Griffin and South comes away with it. Tristan Schmidt has it on top. Minute left, Preble just up by seven. Basket here, South's in pretty good shape. Buchmeyer on Schmidt, working hard on defense. Ball tipped away by Claremont, but uh, South will keep it. There's 45.6 seconds remaining until halftime. Preble up, 25-18. Ditter working hard. Shot was blocked, but he's fouled. I think that foul is going to go on Griffin. Oh, check that. It's going to go on Austin Claremont. Yeah, five personal fouls all on different guys, huh? You're exactly right. You're looking at my sheet. Yep. Well, I was guessing. Ditter now with eight points in the half. The basketball has been a little more entertaining in the second quarter. Fouling has uh, gone down a little bit. Terry Scherschel looking down this way, didn't like that comment. I think South in the second half should do this the whole game. A good or time out that second time. Half. Right, yep. I had that down actually on my list of things to do. Pressure the guards. I think press the entire second half. It's a second time out used by, uh, by, used by Preble. And that one was a defensive one. Twenty-five to twenty. Once again, we got a shout out for the fifty-fifty raffle. You can't win unless you play a ticket. We'll see Mr. Jones over there. Four uh four for ten I think I have Preble. I'll know I when I count up the numbers a little quicker. Yeah, it hasn't been uh South may have stumbled onto something here, Chris. Now they're going to apply full court pressure. I would do this the whole time. Trying to run a trap. I don't think they're, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. Griffin uh, hustles it across. Trouble trying to keep control. We're down to 15 seconds left in the first half. They're up by, uh, by five points. Griffin, now he loses it. South with a lot of time. They're going to call a foul on, not on Schmidt, but he's going to be going to the line. No, he won't be going to the line. It was before. Yeah, before Bersot picks up his first foul. And uh, you're right. Six different players all with one foul. Let's see if Schrader can get a tip here. 3.3. Ditter backs up, couldn't get the shot off. Schmidt's shot from outside the line is no good. And we're at halftime here at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse with Preble on top, surprisingly, by a five count at 25 to 20. You can protect yourself from the flu by taking a few simple steps. First, cover your mouth and nose when sneezing or coughing and encourage those around you to do the same. Next, wash your hands often with soap and water. And most importantly, get a flu shot. If you want to do business with Social Security but don't want to visit an office, you can go online to socialsecurity.gov. Take some precautions during this flu season. Go online. You know that I'm late. I know what time it is. Look, if I'm putting you out, I won't volunteer anymore. <sighs> Forget it. If a chronic illness is driving you apart, call 1-800-344-4867 because a healthy relationship matters. 
cable access channels ensure you the ability to exercise your First Amendment rights through the medium of television. They create opportunities for mutual communication, education, and artistic expression. Public access makes community participation possible and gives you a voice in your community and your world. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local public access channel. Back here at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, we're at halftime where uh, the Preble Hornets lead at 25 to 20. Uh, let's go through the scoring for Preble first. Austin Claremont has six points. Connor Kraft, one. Cade Bersow, seven. Merrick Griffin, their high scorer, has got only four points. Connor Gint, two. And Dan Vandenberg, uh, their big center, has five. Four south. Mitchell Fox has two. Taylor Ditter, nine, leads all scores. Uh, Tristan Smith, two. Uh, Robbie Schrader, two. And Connor Harrison with five, all coming in the uh, second quarter. Chris, your uh, ideas about this first half? Well, I think what we saw at the end of the first half is we got to get the same thing here. I think a little pressure, a little press against Green Bay Preble flipped this thing, considering that uh, South shot 8 for 31 in the quarter, and they find themselves just down by 5. They should be pretty happy about where they are, Marty. They finished the uh, half on a 5-point run. They were down by 10. Starting third quarter action. Thomas Murray, good feed inside, but stolen away by Vandenberg. That's turnover number seven for South. Not a lot of turnovers in the ball game. Nine for Preble, seven for South. One thing Preble has done pretty well with Chris, I think, has been their defense, although South has really helped them out. A nice drive to the basket and a shot by Cade Bersow. You can see why he's right up there in scoring. And he's four for six on the night. Oh. Steal away by Vandenberg. Did or not a good pass inside to uh, Michael Schrader. Coach Schultz's squad comes out in halftime, and the first two things you do is turn it over. Two turnovers. Cade Bersol. They are not good ball handlers, and they're high dribblers, too. So, I mean, good teams, good defending teams are going to pick a lot of those dribbles if you time it, you know, on the way down. One thing that uh, Preble does do is get it in the middle of the floor. Berso with a three-pointer. And he starts off really hot with five quick points. And uh, Preble is up 10 again, 30 to 20. Feed him. Feed him. Connor, feed him. They got the big guy in the middle. You want to get him the ball. Shot is short by uh, Matt Schrader. Preble comes away with another rebound. They've come out cooking on all cylinders, Chris, to start off the uh, second quarter, second half. Oh, nice feed inside to Vandenberg, and he puts it in. And we see that penetration again really paying off for the Hornets as they've jumped out here for seven straight points and have their biggest lead at 12, 32 to 20. Well, I said you gotta uh, press, but you can't press if you don't make them get the baskets. Yeah, you're right there. There you see Coach uh, Schultz talking to the troops, trying to get them fired up and uh, uh, they can't have many shots either with those turnovers the first couple possessions. No, just uh, the shot by Robbie Schrader, which is almost a force. You know, you, met, you know, you said, hey, get to Michael Schrader, the ball inside. He's big and strong. Feed him the ball and let him go to work. He's got a nice uh, size advantage there, and he's got those long arms. Second leading scorer at 10 a game, and tonight he's 0 for 4. One thing that we haven't had so far is uh, a foul by either squad. And we're already two minutes and three seconds in. <laughs> Starting the game, we had, I think, three fouls within the first two minutes. Ditter has it for South. Preble in a man-to-man -man defense. They've been in that all night. 
Fox. Claremont's on Ditter. That's a pretty good matchup. Connor Harrison to the baseline. He gets fouled before the shot goes up. I believe that's going to go on Cade Berceau. Connor, just a freshman. Went to CCA. On a pass over the top by uh, Mitchell Fox goes out of bounds. He was looking for Schrader, or pardon me, for Harrison, but uh, Harrison had something else in mind. No press here either. No, you're right. They could have set it up. Ball goes on Claremont. Fall off the ball, his second. I wish I was looking down there to see what he did, Chris. Just can't see everything. Second foul on Claremont. Let's watch that. Murray. Fadeaway jump shot is in. Nice rotation on that shot. 32 to 22. Kraft trying to work the middle. Berceau, pull-up jumper from 10 feet, can't roll it in. Ditter with the rebound, pushing the ball up. Good help defense by Vandenberg. It's going to go stay here. That's staying here. Yeah, I think that's going to be on Vandenberg, and if it is, it's his second. Yeah, he drove uh, Schrader. It's okay to have a little body, but you can't up and under him. Schrader, Michael Schrader pops back up. He's okay, but he went down hard. Oh, good ups there by Schrader. Good help defense by Kraft. And get a foul underneath. Vandenberg picking up the foul. Him and Schrader mixing it up underneath. Double foul Ooh, on Schrader, foul. and that's a good call. I was watching those guys battle. That goes to the uh, jump ball. That should be preble ball. Should be preble ball. There should be no free throw shoot shots, that's for sure. Should be preble ball on the alternating possession. Good call, Chris. You're the man. But the key there is three fouls yeah, on, three on, on Vandenberg. Vandenberg. Yeah, and he's out of the ball game now. Third leading score for them, but uh, he's a big fella that's been battling uh, Schrader. Connor Gint in for him. Claremont uh, gets himself in a tough predicament, Chris. He's lucky to get out of it that time. Yep. Kick out Claremont from just outside the line. Couldn't get it to go in. Michael Schrader with the rebound. Oh, Ditter lowered the shoulder and ran right over Claremont. No call. Preble comes away with it. Oh, my. Ain't oh. no way. Yeah, that was way short. That's not going to happen. You got a 10 point lead and you're chucking up threes where you're not even close. Three point attempt that time is no good. Berceau comes away with it. Matt Schrader on that shot. Kraft stopped on the baseline. 320. Merrick Griffin has it out on top. It's 32 to 22. Preble up by 10. They've had it up to 12. Four south turnovers in the quarter have hurt them. Fadeaway jumper is no good. Michael Schrader with the rebound. Well, streaking down the sideline was Connor Harrison, but uh, Schrader didn't see him, and then we get a timeout by south anyway. With 2.59 remaining in the third, Preble up by 10.
I'm a Packer fan. And, and we're, we're Packers, Packers fans. fans. Hi, I'm David Collins, superintendent of the Wisconsin State Patrol. Packers fans are the best fans in football. We are, we are the, the ultimate, ultimate team players. players. The ultimate team player. Be the ultimate team player. Always have a designated driver. Always have a designated driver. Live responsibly. Packer fans. Don't let fans drive drunk. Responsibility has its rewards. Go Packers! Go Packers! Go Packers! And there's Wally and Grace, and Wally is wearing that stupid Yankee hat. <laughs> <laughs> I see Wally all this time in the summer. He drives by us playing tennis yep, as he's, he's going swimming. Yep. Great guy, Grace. Uh, oh. Really nice. Oh. Lovely couple. Nice, nicest people in Sheboygan, some of the nicest people you'll meet. And back to the ball game. It's uh, Preble started off real strong with uh, seven straight points. They haven't scored since. We're down under three minutes left. South just one of four in the quarter shooting. It's those four turnovers that has hurt them. Tristan Schmidt in the ball game. Matt Schrader has it on top. You know, Preble's not playing great defense, but South just seems to be going backwards. You know, and they're okay defense, but they're not like smothering spectacular. Schmidt's shot is no good and up and over the backboard. Uh, you know, what could come back to haunt South are those uh, four or five missed layups in the first half, Chris. You know, we didn't think it'd be, be that bad, but uh, Preble is hung in. 1-3-1 one, one here. Preble, you gonna get it across? Good patience paid, played by those guys. Claremont lost it. Good defense by uh, Knuth and Schrader. Matt Schrader left wide open. Got to guard the ball. They didn't, and it pays off for South. Thirty-two twenty-five. Well, we've mentioned it uh, all game. Claremont seems to get himself into. Uh, predicaments and uh, that time it uh, really paid off for the Southsiders. Nice shot by uh, Matt Schrader. I just don't think they can handle the uh, pressure here. Well I bl I'm, I'm with you there Chris. The problem is South is not tossed on the press much. They put this little half court trap in. That should help. Let's see how they handle it here. Because they're going to be attacking Preble now. They're going to be attacking them. Well, Merrick Griffin eyed it up twice but didn't shoot it. See, they've picked up the intensity on D. And, and that's going to help them in the long run. You're right. And uh, Preble calls a timeout. Good good call of the timeout that time by uh, Rob Darrell. It's a full timeout. 149 remaining. Preble up 32-25. to 25. We'll be right back. You don't have to deliver 15 tons of food to the hungry. You can start with 10 ounces. You don't have to dedicate your life to saving lives. You just dedicate 15 minutes. The men and women of America's Navy do some amazing things to make the world a better place. But then again, so can millions of everyday Americans right in their own backyards. Brought to you by America's Navy. Every day, thousands of community and school groups, volunteer and government producers, technical staff and residents reach out to your community through one of the most powerful communication tools available, cable TV. Peg Access produces more new local programming each week than all the programming produced by NBC, CBS, ABC, Fox and PBS combined. Peg Access Channels provide communities with a diverse, independent, and local voice. Thank you for watching and for your continued support of public, education, and government access television. We're back at South High School. We're 149 remaining in the third quarter. Uh, Preble has uh, started the half with a five-point lead, scored 12, pardon me, scored seven straight points to break open a 12-point lead. And uh, they're hanging in there, but just barely. South has uh, turned up the pressure, and it's paid off. I don't agree with this. I'd stick in my 1-3-1. One, one. Maybe just because they call timeout just for a change. Her soul gets knocked down. Look at him. Just no fall. Another fall, no call. And 
Berceau takes it right down Main Street and lays it up and in. That was good D by South. It's going to help you guys. Don't worry. You're all right. Keep the pressure up. Ditter tried to toss it inside. And then he throws the save was by Merrick Griffin, and it went off a Ditter right off his chest, it looked like. And out of bounds, Preble's going to get it back on the good hustle play by Merrick Griffin. 34-25, Preble up by nine now. Still in that 1-3-1. One, one. Preble's yeah. got to flash somebody in the middle. He walked. There, there the pressure played off that time. Yep, the intensity, you can just see the intensity of South better too with this defense. They feel, hey, let's attack a little bit. And it speeds up Preble and they, they can't do that. They're not no. good enough ball handlers. No. I'm sure North gave them a bunch of this when they beat Matt Schrader him. buries another three. Just like that, it's a six point game. Rebels got guys underneath the basket, but they're not looking there. And another turnover, thank you very much. Ditter to the hoop, puts it up with the left hand and scores. South on a run. Gint is wide open, but they're not feeding him. And they throw it out of bounds again. Preble. Fifth turnover of the quarter now, and they've about four of them in the last minute. And there's still 32.5 seconds remaining. South making a strong run at them. They've scored uh, 10. It's a 10-2 run for South. 20 seconds. Give it off to Ditter. 10. 10 seconds, you're right. Michael Schrader. Two. Good block underneath by Vandenberg, and we're at the end of the third quarter. Preble up, but only by four now, 34 to 30. Television is a powerful and influential medium that allows different groups the opportunity to produce programming that directly affects their own communities. Public, educational, and government access channels ensure that all people, regardless of race, age, gender, disability, religion, or economic status, have access to local government information and the use of a public communication forum. Make sure everyone has a voice. Support your local PEG channels. Uh, back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse, getting ready to start fourth quarter action and triggering the inbounds for the uh, Red Wings will be uh, Matt Schrader. South down only four now. They were down as much as 12. Well, Matt Schrader's two uh, three-point baskets, the difference there, Marty. That really brought them back. They were only four of nine in the quarter to 12 of 40 in the game now. Three Six of seven from him. three. Yeah, Ditter has 11 leads all, uh, pardon me. Verso has 14 points to lead all scores. Schrader down the lane, off the glass and in. He's been hot. 34-32. Now deal with Thomas Murray up on the top. <laughs> what a nice step through that time. Berceau had a look but didn't take it. And now Connor Harrison all over him. Oh, good quick pass, but hustling back on defense was Taylor Ditter to knock it out of bounds. Nice defense. First time that uh, Preble actually had a little patience. They looked a little scared, but at least they got the ball where they wanted it. But good hustle by Ditter to take it away. Well, Darrell knew what he wanted his team to do, and they did it. Just better defense that time. For so, no eyes it up, couldn't get it to go. Looked good from where we were standing, but uh, it was a little long. And all of a sudden, here they come. Down by just two. Nice cut by Connor Harrison, but the ball tapped away. South will keep it. 6.52 remaining in the ball game. It's 34 to 32. Preble still on top. They've led it all the way. They have not trailed in this ball game. 
Preble started off with a five point run to begin the game and it's uh, been all Preble ever since. Robert Kraft, Michael Kraft is gonna get called for the foul. And he's not shooting? Thought he was gonna sh try to shoot that. Fifth team foul on uh, Oh, good hustle by Preble. And putting it in was Claremont. Ditter pushes it down and fires up a long three. Bango! Ditter with another three. 36 35. Five for nine. Shooting now for Taylor. And another turnover. Maybe. Oh. No way. Eric Griffin got fouled after the shot, no call. And Michael Schrader comes off with the rebound. South with an opportunity to take the lead. Schrader from outside the line and he nails it. Oh baby. First it's 15, then it's 51, and it's 38-36 South. Their first lead of the ball game. Oh, Preble just got it across. Nice pass inside to Berceau. He kicks it out to Claremont. Not good shooters. Nope. And a rebound over the back by Matt Schrader. That'll be his third. Only the third, fourth team fall on South. Preble just two of eight from three point range tonight. Austin Claremont triggering the inbounds. And uh, Vandenberg almost lost it. I'll tell you, they are very shaky with their defense. Merrick Griffin, easy shot, couldn't get it in. Connor Harrison with the rebound. Good pass to Michael Schrader. Fouled on the layup attempt, but he got it to go anyhow. And he's fouled. Berceau picks up his third foul. It's 40 to 36 South on top. South made all four of their baskets so far in the quarter. And had a free throw, Michael. 41-36. The big shots were uh, Ditter's three-pointer to make it 34. 36-35, they're only down one, and then Michael Schrader came right back with another three, and now a three-point play. And a turnover. Tristan Schmidt pushing it hard. Jake Knuth's shot is no good. Preble comes away with it. Merrick Griffin driving hard to the hoop. Nice layup. They were up Preble was up 32 to 20. Yep. Now it's 41 38. Schmidt got it. Oh man. South is on fire from outside the line. 44 38. Three for three in the quarter from three. Five for six shooting so far in the quarter. Short. Andenberg got the roll. Oh boy. And again, Claremont gets himself into a position where uh, didn't look like he could get out of, but he did. Preble continues in a man-to-man -man defense. Connor Harrison looking to drive the lane. And Knuth not able to handle it. Coach Schultz calls a timeout with uh, 3.59 remaining. South on top by four. Well, Chris, what is he telling the team? We're doing good. <laughs> I was a little surprised by the time. Keep shooting the threes? <laughs> well, I'm surprised by the time out a little bit. Um, you know, you're, everything's rolling right now. Why break the mojo? You know, they're making all their shots. Actually, they're making their free throws. I actually the thought it was a good timeout. You know why? Because they looked like they were almost going to turn the ball over. Oh, That's why. Oh, because I, I think Preble is just struggling with everything they're doing right now. Why help them out at all? And 
put the hammer down right here and now. I just don't think they can handle any pressure whatsoever. And like I said, thinking back to the North score where it was like North won by like 36 points or something against Preble. Going to something you uh, mentioned uh, very early in the game, and I think rightfully so, and that is the fact that the officiating seemed to be uh, very tight, very tight. And it seems in the second half, especially in the fourth quarter, it's not nearly like that anymore. I think they're letting them play much more. Yeah, and South can use those little, you know, pokes at the ball and stuff like that and be a little more aggressive. D, and sometimes you have to adjust to the officials, that's for sure. And here comes a play out of bounds here. Is that kind of like adjusting to the umpires? Yep. Just checking. Ditter, a good help defense by Pinckney. He's red Matt hot. Matt Fox oh. couldn't get it to go. We got a late call on a foul. Pinckney's going to go to the line to shoot two. Connor Harrison picks up the foul. It's only his second. You know, for all the falls we had called, Chris, there have not been a lot of free throws. Well, there's only been 10 in the second half when we're this under is, four minutes. So yeah, This is going to be 10 falls. This is going to be the ninth free throw attempt in the ball game by uh, Preble. Forty-four, forty-one, South on top. South probing. Matt Fox turnaround jumper in the lane is no good. Pinckney with a rebound. He's been a nice pickup off the bench so far. Merrick Griffin stops and pops off the glass, no good. Rebound shot is no good by Bookman, and then Michael Schrader comes away with the rebound. We get a late foul. I think that's going to go on Thomas Murray. Pushing Vandenberg. Wow. Just kind of caught the tail end of that, Chris. It didn't look like much. 3.09 left, south up by only three. Their largest lead was six. That's a receiver play there by Murray. Yeah. Thought that yeah, was going to exactly. be automatic for him. <laughs> Good idea, but just didn't work there. Yeah, Merrick Griffin. Griffin saw a man open underneath and fired the pass, but uh, the receiver ran the wrong way. Big turnover by the Hornets. South may be looking to run some clock. Matt Schrader reverse layup is no good. So much for that, huh, Chris? Yep. <laughs> run a little clock. And Claremont again getting himself into a tough spot. And Bookmeyer not expecting that pass. And another turnover by the Hornets. You have a non-basketball player on the floor with 2.30 left in Bookmeyer. Twice he's not been in a position to catch the ball. Well, they're a little more patient. Running down 2.10 left in the ball game. And another timeout by uh, Tim Schultz. Two oh nine left in the ball game. South up by only three. Uh, Preble is kind of hung in there, but uh, their turnovers have just really yeah. hurt them down here at the end. They've had two chances down here, and they didn't get anything out of them. Two passes to Bookmeyer. One was way out of there, and one was right to them. And I do hope South, like you, I'm sure, South stays in that one three one because oh, yeah. it's caused problems. Yeah. They've adapted a little bit to it, but they still, they, they're they always looking to get rid of the basketball in a nervous way as, a, as opposed to a confidence way. And they're going to keep Bookmeyer out there. Oy. Michael Kraft on the bench is, uh, was a starter and played most of the ball game. And Berceau, their high scorer, high scorer in the game, 
is uh, on the bench also. You got two minutes left. You better have your people in there. Ditter going hard to the hoop. Couldn't get it. But and Schrader, or pardon me, Knuth comes away with it. Had it tipped away. He gets it out of trouble. And Bookmeyer didn't get that rebound. <laughs> Should have been his. Ditter. Nice feed inside. Money. Schrader, he's got it. Money in the bank. 46. 41. Rolling down to a minute and a half left in the game. Claremont again in trouble. Buchmeyer has to kick it out. That's the other thing, he's uh, challenged vertically, Chris. He's not a real tall guy. And he gets down underneath, uh, there's not a lot he's going to do. And then another turnover by Preble. And Verso and Kraft remain on the bench. Two of the starters for Preble. Now Preble's going to try some kind of press here. South's going to take care of this pretty easily. And good decision by Michael Schrader to pull it out. Yeah. Preble did a pretty nice, wow, shoot the three. Yeah, not a good shot there, Chris. Not with a five-point lead. You gotta be a little more patient than that. Claremont looked like he got away with the walk. A three-point shot is no good. Matt Schrader with the rebound gives it right up to uh, Ditter. And now he's in trouble looking for help and throws it out of bounds. That's not necessarily his fault, Chris. I didn't think his uh, teammates helped him out much. And Verso is coming back in the ball game now with 36.2 <laughs> seconds left and you're down by five. Too late. I would have thought about another minute and a half he should have oh, been bring it up. <laughs> Connor Kraft coming in, that's uh, maybe Michael's brother. Connor only a sophomore. Claremont misses everything. Well, you can see why they only have one win, Chris. Yep. There. One thing they don't lack, though, is hustle. I'll, I'll give them that. They've played extremely hard tonight. And uh, skill level is not there. Judgment level. A lot of times is not there, but they do play hard. 25 seconds left. Claremont. Skip pass to Bersol. Line drive three is in and a timeout by Preble with 17.9 seconds left. I agree with you, Chris. Bersol should have been in there a little bit sooner. It's 46-44. Perso leads all scorers with 17. Ditter has 14, but uh, now we're going to find out if South can handle the pressure. Coach Schultz drawing up a play as uh, we speak up here. Eric Wiesman running camera, being assisted by Richard Bartson. Chris Wright, the coach, is the color man, and I'm Mike Martin, the play-by-play -play guy. Enjoying giving you tonight's game. Our next broadcast, by the way, is going to be Friday night when we're over at uh, Sheboygan County Christian. Uh, Lutheran is going to invade for the uh, annual Holy War at the Shore. Holy War at the Shore, that's right. Semi-annual, I guess, because they play twice. We look forward to bringing you that game, but uh, we've got this one going on, and uh, this has been a dandy. Just to reset it, South is up, 46-44. There's 17.9 seconds left. Preble has only committed six team fouls. The next foul will put uh, South in the bonus. Almost intercepted by uh, Merrick Griffin. Connor Harrison hangs on to it. He wants to get fouled, and he does. A lot of time went off there. Yeah, all the way down to 12.2. was only the second fall on Merrick Griffin. 
remember Tom Grahams used to do a drill in practice when they'd have a lead like this, you know, and teams would want to follow. They'd, they'd play a little game called hot potato, and you kept passing the ball and let the defense try to catch you. In that case, uh, Harrison wanted the ball because he wanted to shoot free throws, but uh, he might have been able to run off more clock had he passed the ball. 47-44. Can't get the second one. Vandenberg with the rebound, down under 10. They're just three of 12 from uh, three-point range tonight, Marty. That's well, better Probably. than Badgers the other day. <laughs> yeah. 6.3 seconds remaining as a coach. What are you drawing up? Uh, we know it's gonna be a three-point play, but who are you gonna go to? <laughs> I wish I knew, I guess. The one that made the last basket. I don't think any of their guys are really good shooters. So I'm not afraid to, if I'm south here, as soon as they catch the ball, take two dribbles and foul, you got to foul to give. So uh, don't be afraid to foul to give, just don't foul a shooter. But uh, there is six seconds left. They take, put it on the floor, you try to go and steal it, and you, not, you, know, you knock it away or something, and uh, just time goes off. Remember, south has the foul to give here. I think the most important you think, said right there, Chris, was the time runs down. Correct. It's just by fouling, you know, you, you would waste time or by tipping yep. it away. Yep. Just Go, don't let them catch and shoot. Catch and shoot, correct. So I, I'm, I'm all over somebody, and as soon as they're trying to pass it or something, I mean, I'm right in there, and if I foul, I foul, it's no big deal because uh, time is going to click off. You know, just a brief second, and then you have a foul, uh, foul to give here. We'll see if uh, Coach Schultz uses that idea, or it's just one of my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> or if he does what's right. Or another thing, if you're south, <laughs> let them go backwards like this. That's perfect. Now go follow Thomas. Go follow Thomas. That a boy. There you go. That a boy, Coach Schultz. 3.7 seconds now left. See now they're now Preble doesn't isn't sure what to do here. Oh, we had this plan all set up, and now they followed us. And now we got to throw it in from the other side. Oh God, now what do we do? Help! <laughs> That's why you follow there now. If Bursa you want is to, in the middle. Let him catch it backwards. Let him catch it backwards. That's perfect. It's going to take a tough shot. Ooh, no shot. They're calling it. What do we got here? We got a foul, I think. Falls on 31 Murray with .4 seconds left. Good foul. You better put your biggest guy, Preble, and on the second miss, you got to tap it in. There's just no other choice. And this is tough because of the new rules now. This really is an advantage for the, the uh, defensive team because you can have four shirts there. They can only have two. Coach Schultz can use his last so, timeout. Yeah, good, good time to use it. Not only freeze the shooter, but you also uh, go over what your team has to do on a missed free throw. There's .4 seconds left. South is up three. Merrick Griffin will be on the line shooting the one and one. Uh, Chris just told you he wants to make the first, but he's got to miss the second and uh, hope they can get a tip in. Here's my philosophy. If I'm Preble, I'm going to roll around my guys and hope that the ball goes to the side because the guy's going to want to box out so he's going to square towards you. So if I'm a Preble guy, I might want to try to go around the guy and then catch. And sh you still have time to catch it, too. It won't start till it's, uh, you know, touched. So I, that would be my kind of strategy. Wait till it hits and then kind of roll to the basket. Because you know that Knuth and Schrader have been taught box out and so they square into the guy. So you step back and try to go around him. All right, we've got to make the first. I should say Griffin's got to make the first to make all this. Uh... See what happened there? Schrader was going right to the ball there. You know, you got to go two. You know, he interesting. Ditter now moved on the inside. The shorter guy, Connor Harrison, and he banks it in. And he didn't want to do that. He wanted to miss, but he put it in. That's 47-46. Oh no! Well, it doesn't matter. Basket counts. There's a line violation on South, so yeah, it doesn't it goes matter. The basket's throw. good. Right. Just best arm and up thing. There you go. 
Well, Schrader, Michael Schrader should have actually stayed away from him. Uh, there almost could have been a foul called on that, but in the end, South pulls it out. 70, 47 to 46, and they were down by 12 in the second half and overcame that, Chris. It was a great comeback by the Red Wings. Yeah, it was, and it was the 1-3-1 one, one pressure D that really set it up. They just could not handle the pressure whatsoever in the second half. And then, uh, or excuse me, late in the third quarter and fourth quarter, and a good shooting by South in the start of the fourth quarter. They hit those three threes right away. I think they were like five of six. They ended up only six of 12 in the quarter but Preble ended up four of 13. So good fourth quarter, and you've got a one point victory. I thought it was a good uh, good comeback, like you had mentioned. I thought uh, Coach Schultz did a great job of coaching the team down the stretch. Not that he didn't do a good job the whole game, but uh, like you said, point. going to the pressure defense made a big difference. Leading scorer for South was Taylor Ditter with 14. For uh, the Preble Hornets was uh, Chad Bersol with uh, 17. Our next basketball game is going to be on Friday when uh, Lutheran invades Sheboygan Christian for the Holy War on the shore. For the crew and my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.